53 is the number. How many tens? How many ones? Good job, Miguel. 53. How many ones next? <laughs> I got excited with those ones. Okay, ready? So you have you have in the tens, you have five tens, one, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53. If we're going to put in an expanded notation, we have five tens, but those represent 50 plus three more to equal 53. Okay. One last one today. Let me erase this. One last one today. Your last number is going to be 82. 82. Nope, there's Ava. Good morning, Ava. Your number is 82, Ava. This is our last number for today on our, ten, our tens and ones chart, 82. Eighty-two. Good job. Nicely done, Miguel. I like that you're going in back in. You can revise. That's good. Awesome work. So let's look at 82. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82. Good job. Okay, so if we're gonna put that in expanded notation, it means we have eight tens, which represent 80 plus two more, which equals 82. Okay. So today we're gonna go in a little bit further. Today in on your test, you're gonna be looking at trying to find numbers of the unknown. So we worked on this last week. For instance, if we have five plus blank equals seven, how many more do you need to make the number seven? five plus blank equals seven. How many more do you need to make the number seven? <clears throat> Good job, Miguel. Awesome work, Ava. I like the thinking. So you have five. How many more make seven? <clears throat> Good job. Nicely done, Ava. Yep, you have five, one, two, three, four, five, plus two more to equal seven. That's your sum. Okay, let's try another. Oh, Miguel's almost done. Make sure Miguel's done. Have to have a two there. Good job. Okay, let's go on to the next one. This is what your test is going to be about. A bunch of stuff going on there. Okay, let's try this one. Let's say 10 minus blank equals five. How many are you going to take away to get to the number five? 10 minus blank equals five. You can do your manipulatives. One, two, three, four, five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Have to take away, you're going to subtract to find the difference. Oh, good job, Ava. And Miguel's still working. Love the processes. Good job. Yep. You're going to take away five. Oops, that's a really big highlighter. Plus, you're going to take away five, and then you will have five remaining. So 10. My technology is acting up. 10 minus five equals five. Good job. Let's try one more. I think you guys have this down. You'll be ready to take your test and jump in there. Okay. Let's do two more. Actually, we'll do one addition and then one subtraction. Okay. So let's do eight minus blank equals one. Eight minus blank equals one. So you have eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can count them also in twos. Two, four, six, eight. And how many have one left? We're going to subtract. Good job, Miguel. Good job, Ava. Good job. Nicely done, Ava. Nicely done, Miguel. So you're going to get rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Set eight minus seven equals one. Good job. Nicely done. Okay, we're gonna do one more and then we'll be done today. Okay, and then you can go take your you can go take your test. Okay, so last one today, you have to do addition. We are gonna do 10 plus blank equals 12. 10 plus blank equals 12. Well, this will be our last one today and you'll be all done. So 10, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus maybe more to get to twelve. Good job. Nicely done, Eva. Eva thinks there's two more. So 10, 11, 12. So 10 plus 2 equals 12. Awesome job. Nicely done. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you today.